In this video, I have two news pieces on the upcoming AMD products. The first one is a rumor that AMD is getting ready to launch three new Ryzen 5000 series CPUs this month. And the best part is that it includes budget-friendly, sub-$200 processors a lot of us have been waiting for. Those are Ryzen 5 5500 and 5600 non-X parts. Ryzen 7 5700X is also on the list, but the price is above $200. We will have a look at their specs as well as prices. The second piece is a confirmed leak about the AMD Threadripper Pro 5000 series entire lineup. The leak source is a recently sent out AMD press briefing. There are a total of 5 Threadripper Pro CPUs launching soon and we will explore their specs in the second half of this video. But before that, a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 license for less at cdkoffers.com using the link in the description below. Use code IV20 for an additional 20% off and safely check out with PayPal for instant delivery. Ok, let's talk about the new Ryzen CPUs. First, let's have a look at what Ryzen 5 5500 has to offer. It is a 6-core, six 6-thread six CPU with a 65W TDP. Expected price is around $125. By the way, that is supposed to be the price of Intel i3-12100. Of course, currently it costs much more due to poor availability. So, Ryzen 5 5500 would be very welcome to ease the supply tensions at this price point. Next up is highly anticipated Ryzen 5 5600 with 6 cores and 12 threads. TDP 65 watts. The price is expected to be around $190 to compete with Intel's i5-12400, which is currently widely available for around $200. Ryzen 7 5700X will be an 8-core 16-thread CPU with a 65W TDP priced below $265 to compete with i5-12600KF. Now, what do I think about the probability of this rumor being true? I think that the probability is high, because it has been well over a year since the first Ryzen 5000 series CPUs were introduced. AMD had a lot of time to accumulate chips that are not good enough to go into any of the current models. Thus, parts of the silicon can be disabled, cores downclocked, and sold as lower tier products. One thing to keep in mind is that if AMD releases these new CPUs, the availability could end up being quite bad. The same as we have seen with Ryzen 3 3100 and 3300X back in 2020, when AMD released well-priced budget CPUs, but the number of units available ended up being much lower than the demand for them. 3300X was almost impossible to buy after the initial launch stock was sold out. Now let's talk about the Threadripper Pro 5000 series. There are a total of 5 CPUs in this Zen 3 based lineup ranging from 12 cores to 64 cores. It looks like AMD will be focusing on system integrators with Lenovo getting the product first, followed by other companies later. And there is no sign of non-pro series launching just yet. All the Threadripper Pro 5000 parts will feature a channel DDR4-3200 memory and 128 PCIe Gen 4 lanes with 280 watt TDP regardless of the total core count. Let's start at the bottom of the stack and work our way up. The Threadripper Pro 5945WX has 12 cores and 24 threads with a 4.1 GHz base core clock and 4.5 GHz boost. 5955WX is a 16 core 32 thread part with a 4 GHz base core clock and 4.5 GHz boost. 5965WX features 24 cores and 48 threads clocked at 3.8 GHz base and 4.5 GHz boost. 5975WX has 32 cores and 64 threads with a 3.6 GHz base core clock and 4.5 GHz boost. And the flagship 5995WX Monster CPU with 64 cores and 128 threads is clocked at 2.7 GHz base and 4.5 GHz boost. 
The press deck does not mention which motherboards are supported, but one would guess that these are compatible with existing WRX80 motherboards after a BIOS update. Like this video if you enjoyed it and join the conversation in the comments below, I'll be there as well. It was I, Vadim, until next time.